Show. I'm Dr. Bernie Wilkinson. I'm Dr. Richard Marshall. And Richard, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. December 14, 2016. Oh, right. And today we're going to continue the theme of, of <laughs> memory, Re- remembering back and thinking back to right. things that we've talked about over the past couple of weeks. Because the topic today really ties more or less the last three weeks of the, the Mental Breakdown Morning right. Show, and that is. We, we talked for a couple of weeks about relationships and then we talked about technology and, and today we're going to bridge those a little bit when we, well, we were kind of bridging it through this article that was in Psychology Today uh, earlier this month. It was, on right. De- it was published on December 9th mm-hmm. and it's called The First Thing to Do After an Agonizing Breakup and it's by Dr. Jill Weber and she wrote this great article. She has four things about uh, that, that what makes it difficult to move on after having a, having a bad breakup. But we're gonna, we're gonna steer in a, a slightly different direction with it than, than where she went because uh, of some of the experiences that we've had with, with some of our patients and some of the people we've talked to. And we should say, most breakups are agonizing <laughs> in right. one way or another, you know. <laughs> Um, so I don't know why she added an agonizing breakup because I think most are. It's a, it's uh, like a at least for one redundant, person. right? At least for yeah. one person, it's gonna it could be agonizing. Right. Um, it's always nice when people agree, but that that's like a TV commercial where right. they you know say, well, you know, there's a, some ad now out that have you seen that? I don't know which one you're talking. Uh, it takes too long. I don't watch TV. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no. <laughs> So no, because he has six other devices going on while the TV's on. So right, yes, I listen you watch, to TV. You, watch TV. you <laughs> listen to TV. <laughs> I listen to Agents of Shield. He watches. That's what TV. I listen to. Um, I'm amazed how much TV you watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, that well, that reminds me of something we need to talk about. Perhaps next week. Okay. Sleep. I'm oh, gonna talk more about sleep. Oh, and another. There are but two not things, at work. But not. Well, unless you need it. So, um, yeah, so it's agonizing for everybody. And, and we see um, we see folks coming in, everything from teenagers mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to the elderly who are right. coming in uh, uh, with uh, relationships that have right. ended. Right. And it's an exceedingly difficult time. Um, right. No matter how old you are, I mean, we, we see teenagers who have been in relationships for a couple of months, and they're right. absolutely devastated when they end. Right. We see other people who have been in 50 and 50 and... 60 year relationships right. and, and 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 it's just a, a heartbreaking difficult um time right. you know, to go through one of these breakups so. absolutely and, and one of the things that she says in in the article which, which i think is great is that one of the most difficult one of the factors that makes it very difficult for people to move on uh to move once the agonizing huh. separation yeah, has once happened the decisions made one of the things that makes it very difficult for either party to move on is when there's when when there's still contact. That's right. Because the first piece of advice that we're given by couples therapists is you have to end contact. Right. You you have to make a, a you have to make a a very stark mm-hmm. um, uh, separation. Right. Okay. Now, if you're married and you have children, in fact, children are the only reason why you should have contact. If right. you don't have children, there's no reason for you to be co- in contact with each other. Right. Okay. Get your stuff, move out, separate, and stop the contact. Right. Um, if you have, and, and, and that's at least temporarily. You know, that's not to say that if you move on and you know you you start talking later on or or you you, you rekindle you. a friendship or something, but if you if if you're if you're hurt by the relationship and we're we're kind of talking about how it's agonizing for everybody clearly of course there are situations where the separations happen and it's amicable both parties say you know what we're better off as friends we're better off not in a relationship there that can theoretically happen it can and, and so if 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 that's the case no worries. Maybe that's why the author said an agonizing breakup. Right. Because not not all breakups are right. agonizing. I mean, there are many are some people. Some people do agree 
that they're better off uh, not being together. Well, uh, and I, I like your point that, you know, at least to one person right. is likely to be agonizing. Right. Because one person is, is one person they, wants the relationship to end yeah. because that's why it's ending. So at least one person wants it to end. But, right. you know, for the other person, it may be challenging. But right. the, you're right. The number one thing is, is you have to break off contact. And, and what she mentions in the, in the article is that there, there's several things that, that happen right. when you don't break off contact. That's right. And, and the first one is that you can't heal. You can't, can't heal. you can't mm -hmm. recover from the injury, the emotional injury of the breakup. That's right. You delay the healing process. The only, the only way healing is going to occur is with that distance, with right. that separation. Because if you say, there's a reason why you're not together. Right. I mean, it's because you're not getting along. Right. Okay? And so, um, to, for the healing process to begin, you need that separation. Right. Okay. Number two is you can't let new energy in. Right. So you're you're, right. you're you're bogged down by the energy, the, the usually negative energy of mm -hmm. the broken relationship. And when you're when you stay in contact, you're not allowing new energy, positive energy, to get in. Um, we we uh, heard about we haven't seen this couple yet, but we heard about a woman who had a, recently has gone through a divorce. And she's having a very difficult time dealing with her anger. She's really right. angry with her spouse and or their ex-spouse. And um, she's having a very difficult time letting go of that. But the longer she talks about all the things that mm -hmm. caused their breakup, the the more difficult it's right. going to be for her to move on. And, and, and it's a classic case of her... Um, not allowing the positive things to start right. happening in her life right. because she's still stuck on the negative things that happen in her relationship. Right. So get the separation um, and because if you don't, you're not going to be able to start moving in a new direction and let positive things into your life. Right. And, and, and that final point may, means maybe we should jump to number four and, and then come back to number three. Number four is you, yeah. you relive your mistakes. That's and right. so is that, that's exactly what happens right. is you keep going over and over again about the things that you messed up, things that you mm -hmm. didn't do it, um, and, and so you keep re reliving those mistakes that you made um, in that relate that broken relationship. And that Groundhog Day, yeah, you know, the movie Groundhog yeah. Day, where it's every day it's the same mm -hmm. thing, and mm -hmm. and you're not moving ahead, you're not moving forward, you're not moving on with right. your new life, right. and it is going to be a new life. Exactly, get exactly. on with it. And so the last one is you you live off fantasy, yeah. and so you you imagine that's, what it would have been. I think that's the most difficult to over you, you stay in this fantasy right. world that i could have done this and i could have if done only this. i had done this right it could have worked. worked we could out. really make this work we, right we, if we give it just another try we can make it work right and that you really are in an alternate universe because right. you did give it a try right you were together for long enough and it didn't work now it's time to move on right right mm -hmm. and and so the 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 little addition that we're adding well, is that it, this is really important as it relates to social media. That's right, because all this advice about ending it and moving on is easy to do, was easy to do in the old days when old days. You, you either would run into a person right. face to face mm -hmm. or you answered a telephone call or you made a telephone call. Right. Those were the only three ways that you could have contact right. with an ex. Today, we have social media. Right. And it's infinitely more complicated to sever a relationship mm -hmm. because now social media right. holds couples together in ways that uh, 20, 15 years ago, we didn't have to worry about. Right, right. So it's really important that you, you when you're breaking off that contact, that you make the concerted effort to do so through social media as well. You know, uh, either block or, or unfollow that person in, in all of your different forms of social media because anytime a notification comes up with their name on it, you're going to your attention is automatically going to be drawn to it, even That's if right. you don't want it to. No, you, you, it's your too seductive. attention is going to yeah. be drawn mm -hmm. to it. So you, you have to sever that there as well. Uh, and, and that's 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 really important because we, we, we live that Again, we're, we're going back to fantasy and we're, we're thinking, and then we start getting angry because, oh, well, you know, look, he, he's, he's, moving he's on. so much, so much happier. Right. And we all know that social media is, social media is almost a fantasy in and of right. itself. So you, you can't allow yourself to be drawn into that and, and to remain connected virtually in that way. Right. Somehow in, in today's, today's world, somehow you're going to have to very consciously, very purposely, 
um, sever, when we talk about ending the relationship, you're going to also have to end your uh, your media relationship, right. your technolo- your virtual right. relationship. And I don't, I don't know that that's even possible because you're, you're bound to have shared relationships. Right. So you might be keeping, you right. might block your ex, but she's connected to maybe family members right. or friends. Right. And so they're coming in and you see her at a party or right. you see him at a party. So it, it's really a difficult thing to do, but every time you're exposed, you're reopening that wound. Yeah. And yeah. so you need to protect yourself. So it's a, it's a new set of challenges today yeah. with social media. Yeah. So you, you have to, you have to separate in, in all of those different areas. I advised so. a, I advised a, uh, a person the other day to shut off the smartphone and just get a go phone for, for a few months mm. because all this information yeah. keeps coming in about the ex right. and they just can't, it's impossible for this couple to, they're apart, mm-hmm. they're physically, geographically apart, mm-hmm. but they stay connected with wow. social media. And, yeah. and so the pain continues and all of these four things that we just mentioned isn't happening in their relationship. Right, right. Because they stay connected with their phones. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. So, if you if if the relationship in, ends, you know you you have to you have to separate again at least temporarily until those right. wounds can heal, and then you can you can try and to come back. become right. friends and and you know rekindle that friendship again. But but you have to give yourself the time to heal and to to recover. So that's right. All right. Well, that that's is it. One. Mm-hmm. For today, Wednesday, Wednesday wow. the fourteenth. So we will be back tomorrow morning for, with another episode. Look forward to talking with you and and sharing some more information with you out there. All right, have a good day. You have a good day. Bye bye.